To find the molar mass for O2, we'll first find the atomic mass for oxygen. Some periodic tables have different values. The periodic table I'm using has two decimal points, and it lists the atomic mass for oxygen as 16.00. To find the molar mass, I take the 16.00, and I multiply that by the subscript here, and I get a molar mass of 32.00 grams per mole. And you need to make sure you have the unit there, grams per mole. If your periodic table gives you a different number of decimal places, for example, it's common to have 15.994, you'll do the same thing. Have the 15.994 times the 2, and that'll give you a molar mass of 31.988, and again, grams per mole. So you need to check and see what your teacher wants you to have as a number of decimal points, but this is how you find the molar mass for O2. This is Dr. B and thanks for watching.